What's up guys, Rich Boy J here, back again with another video, and today we're going to be live streaming Vardos once more. I got a bunch of orders in, so we can finally get the second part of this circle finished up, and I am so pumped to get it done, because I feel like I've been working on this thing for quite some time. How is everyone doing today? Glad to see some familiar faces in the house. We got, who we got, who we got? Got Lego Gamer 5502 he was actually the first person in the chat, congratulations. Got Commander Creed, nice to see you finally around for one of these Vardos streams. Got Bricks Builds, what's going on everybody? RB Customs in the house. We just chilling over here. It says, Jay, what year were you born in? That's a very personal question, Drink Tea. What's up, Hunter? Oh, that's not higher. It says, the real Lego Man Productions says, what's up, Gia? The Brick Wiz, what's going on? What is going on? Jeez. So whoever sent me this package decided to not only, like, they put it in a Ziploc bag, which is fine, but they, like, taped the Ziploc part down and I'm just like, that kind of defeats the purpose of the Ziploc bag. Like, I'm pretty sure I'm going to destroy the bag trying to get this tape off of it. So, whatever. RB says, I just ended a stream because, like, nobody joined. You should have told me, bro. I would have come in for a little bit. Commander Creed says, lucky I have a girlfriend, else I most likely wouldn't have been able to make it, but this stream, why does having a girlfriend ensure that you would make it? Or is your girlfriend keeping you up late? That can either be a good or a bad thing, if you know what I mean. Drink Tea Lego says, burr, 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 and the ice on me cold, and in 1990, a new legend was born. JB shooting haters down, call me Jason Bourne. Okay, I see what you mean, bro. Congratulations to Commander Creed and his American girlfriend. Here we go. I finally have liberated this Ziploc bag from its tape. I have no clue what you mean by that. It's always nice when they leave you a message. This seller says, thank you for the order. Okay. Well, I guess that's something. Lego Gamer says, Americans are earlier time zone. Hooray for your girlfriend. Rocco says, PG-13, but all right, this is my live stream and I own it. Yeah. I said, if you know what I mean, that, I, that literally could have meant anything. That's not necessarily inappropriate. You guys are the inappropriate ones for assuming that that's what I'm at. I got to be careful with who I let into my streams going on real lego man productions appreciate that rocco says he trolls for a living all right there's good money in the trolling field takashi 6 and i would agree with you <laughs> rated r stream win whenever youtube decides they won't demonetize me for being rated r Yes, the R stands for Rich Boy J. Lego Gamer says, I really love that circle. Wish I could make it. I have. It says, I know how the pieces. Then gotta get the pieces, bro. Place some brick link orders, my guy. What's up, the Brick Wonder? Got Lego Fox bricks in the house. What's going on? Oh, it's nice to see you around. Can we expect a um, an update on Crate anytime soon, my boy? Yo, getting Bricklink, there's, there are very few things more satisfying than getting a Bricklink order in the mail. RB says, I just uploaded my Vandor progress. Oh, dude, I'll definitely check it out. Everyone, go check out uh, RB Customs Vandor mock. If you guys don't know what Vandor is, it's the um, train heist planet from Solo, a Star Wars story.
Hey, what's up, Hunter? It's all good over here, man. Just glad to be streaming. Glad to be working on Vardos. Drake T says, J building Vardos, it'd be dope like Interlagos. He'd be richer than fake rich boys, Magos. And there's a cafe called Mangos. Okay. Lego Foxburg says, just started rebranding myself, so perhaps parts in large quantities are still the bane of my existence. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. That's why I decided to go with Vardos. It's a lot of dark gray. I have a lot of dark gray, so it'll work out. Appreciate that, bro. Ugh, come on. So hard to pop these things out, I swear. Hey, we need to encourage our fellow boyos to freestyle, not discourage them. What's up, Fives? Got slap, Splat Productions in the house as well. Drink T says, Jay didn't appreciate my rap. Everyone probably thinks it's crap. I'd be like, snap. I got to make them clap. Appreciate that, Commander Creed. I'm really liking this too. Everything looks so nice and pristine. Lego Foxbrook says, very smart idea. What did you end up doing with your crate collection? Well, um, most of it is parted out. Like everything that we pushed off the table is parted out. And then um, I kept all the walkers and stuff, but there's still this giant pile of crate squares right there that still need to be sorted. So that will get sorted one day one day angel says hi rich boy i'm new to your channel i like it so much i appreciate that man thanks for coming through um i'm not sure how long i'll be streaming maybe a few hours Creed Braddon is the character from The Office, Commander Creed, the American Office. What's up, James Vander Ark? We've got Panda Productions in the house. What's going on, dude? You getting some steak dinner? I wish I had some steak dinner right now. Says at Rich Boy J or a battle of Kid and Moindia Mock and try to collect four forty second clone troopers. Was there a first part of that that I missed? Do we? I mean, I've, I've been kind of watching the Clone Wars over again. In the Clone Wars animated series, do we see them uh, go to Kid and Moindia? I don't really remember I don't I can't recall them going to Kato Nemoidia Lidoli says so trying to figure out Munalist or Kato Nemoidia Says probably they do. When do they go to Caden and What do they do there? Says unless you have another use for them, would you consider selling any of the white tiles and plates? The tiles I'm gonna have to keep. Um, as for the plates, the one by ones I don't really have a huge use for right now, but the one by twos I've been using as a lot of filler, so I'm not sure honestly. Says that Kato and was briefly shown right before the bombing of the Jedi Temple. It went to Kato in the Clone Wars with the 501st, then in Ross it was the 442nd. What did they do? Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, Jar Jar episodes in Kato and Moidia. 
I'll have to watch the Clone Wars again. Oh my god. When did they show Kitty and Moidia in uh, Rots? I do not recall. Appreciate that, Troublemaker Bricks. Oh, crap. I'm going to have to get used to not leaning on the side of this mock. I've done it so many times where I lean on the side and then this, like, the entire side section will just break off. So, it was briefly... Sh oh, okay, so, Plo Koon... He was flying on Kaden Moidia. So this here the new clone battle pack is gonna be shock troopers, not 501st. Really? Can anyone confirm that? I would be very disappointed if it were shock troopers. Hey, <laughs> you make the Dunder Mifflin Scran Bretch next. I would I'm planning on putting Dunder Mifflin in this mock. Boy, don't be trolling me like that. I take my battle packs very seriously. If it isn't posted in the Google, it's not a fact. That's a good point. That's a very good point. Where are my one by ones? Start it from the bottom. Ugh. Where are my one by one plates at? It says all I want are plain white phase two clone troopers that aren't expensive. Um, I'm kind of torn on those plain white fizz happening. The stream resumed. All right, I think we should be good. I hope we're good. All right. Looks decent on my end. We'll see. Um, but on that note, as for those phase two clones, plain white ones, I don't, I don't really need to have those in a battle pack for no other reason than because we don't see a ton of them, like, in any of the movies, you know? Like, you have to, like, actually look pretty hard to find those Phase 1 clones in Episode 3. Like, they're usually in the background. We don't really see them in large quantities, so... I don't know. Uh, I would rather have large quantities of troops we see on screen in large quantities, if you know what I mean. Kubla says you should make a Kanto Bite mock for your next mock. That would be cool. Kanto Bite would be really cool. The only issue is there's no Fathier, and there's... I don't know. A lot of those aliens would be really hard to do just because they're all so unique looking. Especially that balloon lady. This is so embarrassing. I started the stream. I can't even find my one by one plates. I swear it. Be your own friends. What's up, Zandy boy? Okay, I'm starting to get kind of annoyed now. I don't know where my plates are. Ah, they were right here. 
All right, what's going on? What's going on in the chat? <laughs> Seems Master J has lost his plates. How embarrassing. So I want to erase these from the archive memory. No, I have not ordered the Thorn torsos yet. I don't really plan on ordering a bunch of stuff for the figures until much later down the line, whenever I actually like need to put figures in this mock. Figures are like, I feel, icing on the cake of building mocks, so I like to save that for the end. Which watch you have to go for the night, but I was wondering if you're ever going to do a Lego collection tour. If you look like way towards the beginning of my, well not really way towards the beginning, but if you look back at my videos, I did do a, like a collection video, or at least a boxed collection video. Um, if you want, you can check that out. What's going on Spartan, Spartan Republic? We got John Cena in the house. What's going on, bro? All right. Any special videos for 10K? My goal is to still do a room tour. I've just, I've been wanting to get it more cleaned up and in a presentable condition before I do that, though. Whoa, what the heck. Oh. Studying for my a business calculus exam I have next Monday. Best of luck, bro. Best of luck. Gotta do some quick maths. <laughs> nah, you don't have to update me on WWE. I listen to like a weekly podcast that gives me all the WWE knowledge I need to know. Who do I prefer, CAC or AV Figs? Um, um, I don't own either of them, so. Kind of, oh, actually, that's not true. I own the CAC, Django Fett, and Boba helmet and uh, jetpacks. I like those a lot. But I guess if I just had to make a choice on based on stuff I've seen, I'd probably go with AV just because they have better clone helmets, specifically Phase 2. What's up, Scream and Siegel? No, I'm not talking about the What Culture podcast. I listen to a guy named Solomonster. I don't know if you've heard of him, but it's called Solomonster Sounds Off. He does great wrestling podcast, and that's what I listen to. My birthday is July 13th. All right. Wasn't ever on Friday. Yes, I think my birthday was on Friday this year, actually. Am I making the Corvus at Minifig Scale? Are you making the entire ship, which is a section? Will that be an interior? Uh, it won't be Minifig Scale. Minifig Scale would just be too big for it. Like, Minifig Scale would be probably half the size of this mock, which... I don't need a Corvus that big. I'd like to keep it after this. It'll be a little bit smaller than the UCS Star Destroyer. Um, imagine, it'll probably be the size of two gray base plates. That's kind of my goal for it. Um, interior, yes. Uh, it'll be an enti the entire ship. Zandy, you sold someone two 12th Troopers and it wasn't me. I'm so disappointed. And yeah, John Cena, I saw that dude. That was so funny. What's the score right now in that game? It's downstairs and it's on and I can hear it, but I, I don't know what the score is right now. Oh, 
Oh god. Jeez. The lions just suck. Drink tea. That is unacceptable. You're in timeout. Watch your mouth. You think there's something like football in Star Wars? There is. You guys don't remember in episode two, whenever they're in that, like, <laughs> they're in the club with Zam Wazel on the TV screen. There's, like, robot football going on. Can someone make a mock of that? The, like, robot football game that's going on on TV in that club. I thought it was droid soccer. It may have been. I can't. It was some droid sport. We need a mock of the Star Wars robot war scene. Dude, I used to love Robot Wars, the show. Pod racing VR simulator. What do I think of Marvel's Spider-Man? I haven't played it yet, but... You're talking about the game, right? That's what you're talking about? Drink tea. I swear, don't do this again. What's going on, Rage Plays 877? Also, so satisfactory to see this section not come together. The lines are so beautiful. Appreciate that. Yeah, dude, I really want the game. I don't own it, but, like, I really do want that game. I don't buy a lot of games slash play a lot of games on my PlayStation. I probably have, like, six games on it. But I really do want that Spider-Man game. I'm super hyped to get that at some point. I was watching a little gameplay earlier today, and it looks pretty dope. Those are some of my favorite games to play when I was younger. Like, I had Spider-Man 2 on Xbox. I had Spider-Man 1 on PlayStation. And, um... I even... PlayStation 2. And then I had, like, the Spider... I had a Spider-Man game on PlayStation 1. And that that one is kind of lame because you couldn't, like, go down to the city. But the cool part about it... And I guess Sp the Spider-Man 1 game on Xbox... I'm on PlayStation was the same way, actually. But, um... That one was cool because you got to face a lot of the villains wasn't based on any of the movies. We've got Prison Mike in the house. What's going on? Lego Foxbrook says, I'm not really a gamer, but the graphics and frame room look so built right. Yeah, that's exactly what I want from it. That's literally what I want. So the nice thing about the other side of the circle is I literally just got to copy this side for the other side. So if you guys didn't know... Um, Brickwiz is making Kessel right now, and he is going to be including Prison Mike as one of the prisoners in the um, the Spice Mines. And I would love to include Prison Mike somewhere in this, but I don't anticipate having a prison anywhere in this mock. So instead, I'm going to settle for putting Date Mike in this mock 
And the idea behind it is I want to do, like, a Stormtrooper nightclub somewhere in this. And it'll be somewhat hidden. Like, it won't be obvious from the outside what it is. It'll just be, like, a bouncer Stormtrooper standing on the outside. But on the inside, you open it up. Like, there'll be lights and a bunch of stuff all throughout the mock. And uh, I'm going to include Date Mike. Because what is a club without Date Mike? Appreciate that, Goofy. Are you going to mimic the Vardos architecture? Or are you going to go off some screenshots for the built-up section of the mock? Um, I'll mostly be recreating like stuff exactly as it looked like in the game. Of course, some things I'll be modified for the size and scale, but for the most part, I'll stick with like reference material. Yo, can we? Can you put me in the nightclub chilling with a couple of Twi'lek girls? I'll consider it. Please do I clone Wars Mox? I would like to. I would like to. We'll see what uh, what things are looking like whenever the new series comes out. Yeah, dude, you should totally include Michael Skarn and Vandor. Agent Michael Skarn. Fives Production says Clone Wars mocks are my speciality, Chancellor. I hope you mean like they're actually your your speciality, and not the Obi Wan definition of speciality, which basically means, oh, we got totally owned last time. Both of us fought a Sith Lord. Would you actually want to see me make a Kashyyyk? I feel like Kashyyyk's been done quite a bit. I think I'd be I'd enjoy making it, but for my first Clone Wars mock, I don't know. Geonosis is ideal for me, but you guys have heard me talk about that ad nauseum at this point, so... I think you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, I saw the Brick Wiz roast. It was pretty funny. I want to be in the mock, but I'm broke and no mod. LOL. Probably don't deserve mod anymore. Don't say that. No, do whatever shows up in episode 9. I'll probably, most likely, definitely do something for episode 9. So let's just do the treetop platforms for a Kashyyyk mock. That would be like the most boring part of Kashyyyk, though. Shout out to Zandy Boy with the 99 cent donation. He is so close to making his way into the mock. Actually, well, he's a moderator. He's already in the mod. Appreciate the donation anyways. You should build a home one. That would be fun. Lego Fox Brick says, What kind of terrain battles do you want in episode 9 and what vehicles to be used? I am praying that an ATM-6 is used because I already have one. And I would love to be able to use it again, you know, and some sort of mock based from the new movies. Um, other than that, I would love to see really a large-scale battle, kind of like the Battle of Jakku, what we see in Battlefront. Like, I think... John Boyega kind of described this next movie as being all-out war, and I think that, like, there's going to have to be, you know, one huge, large-scale battle at the end to just kind of, like, resolve everything. Shout-out to Commander Creed for the dollar and one cent donation. Appreciate that. 
Files Production says, I'm eagerly waiting for me to spend $100 on yours, Mark's, Garrett's, and Chris's sick figs. If not, I'm just making yours and Garrett's. Sorry, Mark. Aw. Do you hope there's a big terrain battle? I feel like we haven't gotten a solid good battle. Uh, we've, the only... To be honest, guys, in all of Star Wars, the only, like, good battles we've gotten are Hoth and Scarif. Land battles, specifically. I don't... I, it, I, I think Taco Donna is up there, too. It just... It doesn't last very long. It's not... It's not much of a battle, like, because you don't really see the troops come out, but the only good land battles we've got in Star Wars pretty much just Scarif and Hoth. So yeah, I do hope that they give this trilogy a decent, good, decently good land battle. Five says, what about Geonosis? Come on, Jay. Geonosis is, okay, when I think about something that's a battle for one there has to be actual stakes in geonosis there weren't really any stakes like it was just I, I don't know i just feel like the point of the geonosis battle was just to show you like oh the clones are here and they have cool ships you know like there was no there were no tactics involved there was no oh we need to accomplish this objective other than oh let's follow dooku and hopefully destroy him like i get like there's like, like the subplot of them trying to stop the big the trade federation ships from taking off but i don't know like like i said there's just no stakes like it's not even the main part of the movie or it's not even a main part of the movie it's more of just like a montage kind of at the end of the movie yeah i don't i don't really consider geonosis a battle uh someone fox bricks brings up endor um i don't know if endor was cool but i don't know if i would describe that as a good star wars land battle for me a, a good land battle it has to involve, like, I don't know, both sides. I don't know, like, like the Ewok thing was unique, but I don't know, it's still, it's hard for me to consider the Ewok fight as, like, a, a good Star Wars battle, you know? Hey, Jay, how much do you think you spent on Vardos? I've gotten this question for Hobbs. I have no idea. I haven't spent that much yet. Maybe no more than, like, $100 maybe like 70 just on like acquiring a lot of these stuff maybe not even that maybe like 50 honestly but the thing is i've had like a lot of these parts before i even started like basically the only thing i've had to buy is a lot of the yellow stuff The Good Brick Production says, we need a new Imperial Scout Trooper helmet mold. They've been using the same one since 2002. I mean, they have the new mold. That um, Kashyyyk Trooper, it's it's basically the same mold. But it's not... It's not like... They just haven't used it for the Scout Trooper yet. Um... Oh my god, so many comments coming through. What's your favorite yellow minifigure? Probably Zamwazelle, just because she doesn't have a, a pale version. So she's the only like yellow figure I'd have to use. But yeah, um, I don't know. What do you guys think? What do you what what good what would you guys say if you guys had to rank like oh not maybe not even rank on but do you agree with me? Like, we haven't gotten a great Star Wars land battle in other than Hoth and Scarif. What's going on? Collecting bricks. Got Robert Torres in the house as well. This is a bit too tall for an Imperial Scout, though. Is it not the same helmet? I'm pretty sure it's the same helmet. I'm fairly sure that's the same home. If I'm wrong, someone totally tell me, but I'm pretty sure it's the same helmet. Chris Productions is currently working on a Jedi temple. 
So I don't think I would do that anytime soon. But that would honestly be a really fun mod to make. Just because there's so many things you can include in it. Like, there's the... Um, like the hangar bays with the gunships and the Jedi Starfighters. Of course, you could have parts of it be during Order 66 and the library, the um, Jedi Council room. There's just so much you could do with that. Um, Lego Foxbrook says, if you'd like to use the ATM6 again, you could recreate the sequence of Battlefront 2 with the ATM6 from the campaign expansion. Yeah, so theoretically, I could have put it on Bardos if I was doing it like from Resurrection. But I really wanted to do it like during Project Sender, which is why I do not get to use the ATM6 for this one. But it would have worked out. <laughs> Commander Creed, who, who let you know of my secret love for Lego Chima? To be completely honest, I look at Chima the way I look at, like, Mega Bloks. Like, it's borderline garbage to me. Like, I would throw it away. I was meaning for a photo op after its completion. The only issue is, like, the planet is covered in ash by that point, so it wouldn't, it wouldn't look correct, you know? Would you like to have the resistance to have resistance tanks and walkers if there's a huge ground battle? Absolutely. I want to. You know what I would love to see. I would love to see them use the um, first order transporters kind of as tanks, because like there's the little compartment obviously for the troop to come out of the hatch and man the turret that's right there, but we've never seen them use it that way. We literally only see it being used to drop troops off. So I would appreciate it if they, you know, would fly them into a battle and, you know, have, you know, troops manning the turrets on them. That'd be cool. And of course I'd like the resistance to have some sort of equivalent type of tank to be able to fight against them with. Darth Thomas says, Utapau, please. I would love to do Utapau, actually. I would love to, like... It would be super tall. I would probably make an Utapau that's, like, five or six feet tall. Just to do the various layers in the planet, you know? Like, have the water at the very bottom, and then as you go up, the various layers. And honestly, I never noticed this until, like, a couple weeks ago. But where Grievous is, it's, like, one of those the big sphere things from the Trade Federation ships, like, parked in the structure. I don't know, I don't know if it's parked there or if it's, like, stuck there in the rocks, but, like, it's one of those just literally sitting right there in the middle of the, of the planet, so that would, I would really have to do that. I would really want to do that. But, yeah, if you guys don't know about Hydrave, Hydrave probably has the best Utapau out right now. That thing is amazing, so... Congratulations to him. It looks gorgeous. Can we all just sit and appreciate the fact that, like, Star Wars is still amazing in so far as. You can watch it so many times, but still notice something new each and every time. Like, how amazing is that, guys? Like, a lot of people like to talk about how divided we are as a fan base, and I don't necessarily agree with that. I think, I think it's okay. There, there are plenty of fans who can disagree on things and not like some of the movies, but we can still appreciate Star Wars as a whole. And, um, I don't know. I appreciate Star Wars. Star Wars is awesome. It says, like, if you told Jack to do a random planet mock, he'll do it. 
All I'm going to say is this new lock is coming out really dang good. I have to check that out. Nah, dude. Hydrave is amazing. Hydrave is an amazing builder. Do you want the resistance to have a huge military in episode 9? I think they have to. I don't think... They can't kind of redo the dynamic of, like, The Last Jedi having them just be overmatched. And, I mean, it's kind of... It was kind of the same problem in the original trilogy, right? Like... Though, I mean, I guess... Yeah, like, the, the Rebels were always overmatched. And, I mean, in, so, in some way they are going to be overmatched, but, like... I would like to see a ground battle where, you know, they're, they're, they have at least some chance of winning, you know? Where there's, like, tactics being employed and... I don't know. I would just... I would like to see the Resistance as an army do more. And I get the impression that they are. I feel like whoever their allies are that they're trying to reach in... The end of The Last Jedi will probably play a part in it. And I think Lando will have something to do with that as well. Says the only show people would hang out calls. If you saw this old Mox from last summer, you wouldn't believe how much he has improved. He even started at the same time started building Mox. Wow, I didn't even know that. I didn't really even know about him until probably Brick World. That was when I actually got to meet him. Do you hope Kylo Ren will die evil or become good? He has to. I think he has to die evil. I don't think they need to redeem him. There's no redemption for the man who killed Han Solo. Forever Lego Studio says, Jad, love the look of the studless platform. I appreciate that. I'm glad you do. This is like... I think this is actually going to be something really special. I don't think a lot of people have done like a snot platform at this scale. So I think that like it's going to get some pretty good attention, which makes me happy. Will you display this anywhere? I'm not sure yet. I think Kyle absolutely has to die. Hey, shout out to Cosmic Brick 44 for the 99 cent donation. Appreciate that, boyo. Jay, have you ever cried during a movie? And if so, what movie? <laughs> I'm not. Um, what, what, what's the last movie I cried during? I can't remember. I don't watch a ton of movies that aren't Star Wars. Star Wars The Clone Wars style show in the sequel trilogy era. I don't know if I could do that only because there aren't that many like isolated battles going on, you know. I feel like the Clone Wars worked the style of Clone Wars worked because there were so many at that point there were so many Jedi and there were so many things going around in the galaxy but that all kind of linked to a central theme of, you know, like people either siding with the Republic or the Separatists that you could do a show like that but I don't know if you could do that in this trilogy only because I don't know like the First Order they're I guess at the beginning of the last Jedi they're mounting like a uh, they're trying to get military control over many planets but I don't know I don't know how you could have that many isolated stories but still have them linked back to a central story one of the things I prefer about Rebels is the fact that it's a linear storyline. It's not a great storyline, but it's at least linear. It helps me feel more engaged and attached to what's going on. Like, one of the most annoying things for me about the Clone Wars is the fact that it's, like, out of order. So, like, stuff will happen. Like, you'll see a person die, but then you'll see, like, them in an episode, like, a few seasons later. I don't know. That just irritated me. I don't know why they did that.
Jedi Bob says, how did you get into Star Wars? It's a great question. Um, I've had different, I've had a few waves of Star Wars. The first time around, I just, I don't know, I think my mom just took me to see episode one. I wouldn't even say at that point I was really into Star Wars. Like, I just, I liked it as a movie, but I wasn't, I wouldn't have considered myself a big fan until like 2004 slash five, around when episode three came out. And um, one of my friends kept bragging to me about how fun the Lego Star Wars game was. And mind you, at this time, I was not a big Star Wars fan, so I didn't really know much about Star Wars. I just knew that, like, this video game my friend kept telling me about sounded really cool, so then I asked to get it. And then that's kind of what got me into Star Wars. Um, Charm City Brick, what's going on, dude? He says, how tall is your tower going to be? I'm not sure, honestly. I don't... I'd like to say very tall. Like, it'll get somewhat close to the ceiling in this room. But, I don't know. Depends. It'll definitely... It'll it'll trump the size of everything else in this mod. Like, it'll be... It'll be taller than me on the... Like, as it's sitting on the table. If that helps you have an idea of it. Lego Foxburg says, great stream, bro. Good luck with the rest of the build session. Gotta pop out now, but these streams are always enjoyable. Appreciate that, man. Thanks for coming by. It was a pleasure. Always a pleasure. Do you think the episode where... Oh, God, I missed it. Do you think the episode where Maul dies on Rebels gets canon docked so they can fit him in FL? Oh, God, no. Absolutely not. Rebels is canon. They're not just going to do that. And please, no. I don't need to see more Darth Maul. Cosmic Brick says, will it be as tall as the Citadel? Probably not. The Citadel was, like, would have been too tall to fit in here. Like, it would have... It would have, like, been touching the ceiling. I don't want it to be that tall. It'll be pretty tall, though. Did you see the new mall pictures Disney just released? I don't think so. What mall pictures did Disney just release? What's up, JJG? Yes, I've played the Lego Star Wars Force Awakens game. It says they released full body images of Maul from Solo. Oh, I think I did see that, actually. I mean, I don't really care. I could never see Darth Maul again in Star Wars, and I wouldn't be sad at all. The funny thing is, whenever I saw Solo, um, I was at Comic... Palooza, which is a local comic con here in Houston, and Garrett and I were just playing crate there, and um, Ray Park was there, and so we saw Solo that night, and then the convention was like the next few days, so it was interesting seeing him there and knowing like, hey, you were in Star Wars just recently. Bricks Build says, how's the Corvus going? Man, that thing, I've been trying to work on it. And I've been trying to figure out how I want to design it. And it's it's taking some time. That thing is taking some time. Alright, see so the good brick productions. Are you still on the landing platform? Yes, I am. Shout out to Tanner Hall. Thank you so much for the super chat. He says, 
I found you from your crate mock and I love your builds. Thank you so much, man. I really appreciate it. I'm glad you do. I'm working on this landing platform right now, so that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. What's up, Mock Pokemon and More Productions? I swear, some of these names. Like, how do you guys come up with this? Hey, Jedi Bob with a donation. He says, would you rather have seen me in Solo? Yes, I would love to see Jedi Bob in an actual Star Wars movie. Wow, I'm feeling the love tonight, guys. So here's something. I'm pretty sure tomorrow I'm going to release a video of my Rebel collection like my rebel army collection so all the ships and minifigs that i have for my rebel army i'm gonna make a video on it i want to start doing more army videos just to have some sort of documentation on all my stuff you know as as it grows down the line and i thought why not start with the rebel army i'm actually starting with the rebel army because that's the only one like i can do right now and i won't have to rebuild stuff like i would love to do the first order one but I want to need to actually finish building that uh, that Kai class speeder or the uh, the shuttle, basically the one that Finn and Rose take to crate. I haven't actually finished building that, so I would need to do that. I would need to also finish like put back together my ATM six, which is not in great condition right now. And I guess the ATAT is the only one I wouldn't have to do much with, but. Yeah, I would love to do an Imperial Army video also. The only thing about that is I want to put the Zeta class in it, but that's not in great condition. I've been poaching pieces off of it to build various things, so I would need to like re <laughs> rebuild that. Um, and then other stuff, uh, Republic Army, I would like to do as well. I just, I don't have a ton of like Republic ships, to be honest. Like my, the, my Republic Army is probably the weakest out of everything in my collection, but um, I'm going to go with the Rebel Army. Um, I just finished converting my version 1 Enter X-Wing to a version 2 Enter X-Wing. So I thought, why not cap it all off with an Army video? Do you guys have any interest in seeing an Army video? Or is it a waste of my time? <laughs> Rocco says your 501st Army would be the weakest. Yes, it would. It's not even a 501st Army. It's, it's a 501st people it's rex and that one troop that i have which is why i'm really hoping that that new battle pack is a 501st battle pack otherwise i'm gonna be screwed like jude shout out to jedi bob for the 99 cent donation can you guys not hear me am i talking to myself Can you guys hear me? I'm pretty sure someone. You guys are talking about 501st clones. Okay. All right. Cool. I was about to say. Yeah, I'll have one 501st trooper. I want more, but I would like for them to, like, release the like newer style ones, for 501st. Kind of like how the Udapau troopers are. I don't want to get a large army of like the old Clone Wars versions ones and then they're being to be outdated whenever the newer ones come out. Chicken tendies ain't got no ears. That's the saddest news I've heard all day. Can I talk louder? I can just turn the microphone up. Can you guys hear me better now? Jedi Bob says, feeling good tonight. Do you still talk to Garrett? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I talk to Garrett a lot. Here's a question for all you guys. Which 
clone trooper do you have the most of? If you were gonna, if you were gonna send a group of your clones into battle, which legion would you want to send? Five says, "Dang, I got like eight final first troopers that came with an ATTE, two final first pilots for one fifty. So you got the eight final first troops, two pilots, and an ATTE for one hundred and fifty bucks. Holy crap, dude, that's a good deal." Man of Creed says, 41st, the Elite Corps. How many of those do you got? Rocco says, the 187th Legion. Five says, 501st. Campy says, Wolfpack. I'm honestly surprised by that. Like, those Wolfpack Troopers are so expensive. Wolfpack Troopers are probably more expensive to get in mass quantities than 501st Troopers are. Cosmic Brick says, he was sent as Arc Troopers. Says, four from the Battle Pack. Okay, yeah, I have two of those Battle Packs, dude. That... I should not have one of those battle packs. I just lied. Chicken Tindy says I got a V19 and a Republic attack shuttle for $50 on Facebook Marketplace. That's awesome. Hey, Jay, what is up, boyo? What's going on, CO Clone Commander? Says, oh, I have the most of the Clone Wars Phase 1 clones. Ugh, I hate those things. Bricksfield says 212th. What Legion is 187th? Is that Mace Windu's? What do they look like? Dude, Jedi Bob, thank you so much, man. I really appreciate it. Jedi Bob is my favorite Jedi. Campy says, I got two of the AV7 cannon when it came out. Dude, I wish I got that set so bad. Like, those Phase 2 Wolfpack Troopers are so nice. Purple Mace Windu clones. Okay. Is the mock going to be a scene for Battlefront 2? Yes, it is. Are you making your own scene? No, it's going to be for Battlefront 2. Got two Udapal Troop Battle Packs for 30 bucks. I got... I didn't get any of the Udapal Troop Battle Packs when they were actually at the Lego store, which makes me annoying because I worked at the Lego store while those were out and I didn't buy a single one like a dummy. Same thing with the Kashyyyk Trooper Battle Pack. But I found them locally at a resale store. And I got... I think I paid like 13 bucks for Battle Packs in the box. I got two of those and I got one of the um, Kashyyyk Trooper Battle Packs. But yeah, dude, I wish I got at least one of those AV cannons. Because that's that came with Plo Koon, and it came with, like, the older Clone Wars Ahsoka. Like, why did I not get that set? Yes, CO Clone Commander, we had a very extensive discussion on Clone Troopers. I remember you told me you prefer the Clone Wars style Phase 1 troops, which still makes me sad to this day. Sebastian Kinsey says, UCS Profundity. Um, I mean, I like that one. It's, it's decent, but honestly, I would rather do like a UCS Radis, just because you actually see more of the inside of it. Like, there's more internal scenes you could do from it. What's the worst clone legion? Huh. What is the worst? So, I don't know. Do you mean by worst, do you mean like ugliest or worst as in like least effective? I have to think about that. I don't know. Darth Thomas says, did you ever trade figs when you were a kid? No, so I don't know about you guys, but when I was like, when I was getting into Star Wars as a kid and like I was really collecting a lot, I didn't really have a lot of friends who also collected. Like I had maybe like, I had one friend at school who, I wouldn't even say he collected, he just kind of had, he was in Star Wars and he had some sets, but he wasn't like getting more sets at that point. And I had one other friend like when I first got into it, but he didn't really get that many sets. In fact... I remember as his birthday gift. So it's funny. Like, he had the Lego Star Wars game, and he got me into Lego Star Wars. And then, for his birthday, I got him his first Lego Star Wars set. Like, after I had gotten a few sets. And uh, I think he got another set after that. But he didn't really have a ton of stuff. Um, but the one friend... I didn't. I wouldn't say I traded him figs, but I traded other things for figures. Um, and then, actually, I traded some Lego stuff with him as well. But basically... When I was getting into 
well, I'd already been in it for a little while, but this would have been probably around like 05. Um, and I had this friend and he had a bunch of like Lego Star Wars stuff, but he wasn't really like super into it anymore. So I think I traded him like Yu-Gi-Oh cards for some minifigures and it was really cool to me at the time because he gave me a Darth Maul figure and a Boba Fett figure and at that time neither of those figures were anywhere to be found like on shelves so it was a big deal for me to be able to get them because like I wasn't buying figures online at the time I was only like 10 years old so for me to like one see those figures in person and two be able to own them and trade for them like that meant a lot to me at that time and I remember this one time he came over to my house and I forget what he traded me. It was it was for something. Like he gave me some figures. And my the trade that we agreed on was, like, I built him, like, a little Slave 1 build, and I let him take it. And, like, to this day, I still regret that. Because there are some pieces on that build that I've, like, needed for various things that I've built since then. And I've been really annoyed by the fact that I gave him that Slave 1 that I built. So that was kind of annoying. Uh, Zandy says, you liked Yu-Gi-Oh! Who are you? Just too good? I didn't know Just Too Good like Yu-Gi-Oh! But um, if you guys ever see me in public and I'm with my backpack, I always keep a Yu-Gi-Oh! deck on me in my backpack. So I stay strapped. Don't run up on me, guys. I got that thing on me. When you play Complete Saga... And I, I love these questions. This is why I love live streaming. This is so fun. Like, just talk Lego Star Wars. Jai Bob says, when you play Complete Saga, did you always want the figures in them? Yes. Like, I, there's still figures that I really want. Like, we still haven't got a Dexter Jetster figure. It took us forever before we got, a, like, a pale-faced, not-ugly Clone Wars version of Kiati Mundi. So I wanted that, too. Um, I got the custom Rebel Friend, so I guess... Kind of, that kind of worked out. I'm trying to think what else. Um, the pregnant Padme, even though like it's it's not super updated, like it doesn't look like a great figure in the game, but I would love to have actually like a pregnant Padme figure. Um, Commander Creed says nine numb. Yeah, like how insane is it that we've gotten two ten nubs, but no nine numb figure? Like that is insane to me. RB Custom says, I've always wanted the Imperial Spy from the Cantina. Yes, dude, Garandan. There's so many figures from that game that we haven't gotten. Like, Lego, what are you doing? Kugzo for the win says, back when I was six, my younger sister got me a bunch of mini figures. One of the original Darth Mauls. Nice. Pre-guard Padma. A week after the Inquisitor came out, I traded for Darth Vader. So you traded your Inquisitor for Darth Vader? It says we need updated Magna Guards for sure. Yeah, we really do. I don't actually I don't even have one of those figures. Do you have one? I remember like when the Clone Wars stuff came out the first time, that Magna Guard fighter was one of the first sets. I remember like I thought it was so ugly. And to this day it's still a pretty ugly shit. I got to question, so do you just have a lot of clones or things like that on hand or buy them? Asking because I'm making the mock and I need a lot of one figure. So, for every mock I've done so far, all the figures, I haven't really had to buy a lot of individual figures from like Bricklink. It's usually come from Battle Packs or stuff in my collection. Like, I've built things where I already had a lot of that figure on hand. Uh, for this one, I'm probably going to have to buy a lot of the updated Stormtroopers. Is I have maybe like 20 or 30, which is a lot, but may not necessarily be a, enough for this. Um, but I say just, you know, look at Bricklink, and sometimes eBay can have really good figure deals as well, so just uh, check out those two sources. I have one of those Magna Guards and can't find the capes. That's annoying. Yeah, Force Ghost figures were one of like the biggest ones that I wanted from Lego Star Wars, and I still do to this day. It says, Jay, I'll hit you up with eight Stormtroopers at Brick Fair 2019. I don't know if I'll need them by that point, but if I do, I'd certainly appreciate that. Cusco says, I have a bunch of the new Episode 3 clones of Plain Ones. How? How do you have a bunch of those? Did you just buy a bunch of that Micro Fighter? 
Jay, what's the oldest that you own and what's the story behind it? Oldest that I own is, um, you guys probably won't know it like off the top of your head, but um, so is, first, do you mean like oldest Lego set or oldest Lego Star Wars set? Because the oldest Lego set I own is the 6399 Airport Shuttle. The story behind it is um, basically I found a bunch of really old sealed sets. And by really old, I mean like from the late 80s, early 90s sealed at a... Uh, my oldest Star Wars set, however, um, I have to think about that. The first one that comes to mind is the Bounty Hunter Pursuit set. I'm trying to think, do I have anything from the original episode one? Like, when I was younger, I had sets, but, like, none of those sets are, like, actually intact or built. I probably don't even have all the pieces to rebuild them right now. Um, I'm trying to think. What's the oldest set that, like, I have either built or I could rebuild right now in Star Wars? Probably Bounty Hunter Pursuit, yeah. The story behind it was actually, that was the first thing I ever bought off of Bricklink. And I remember I wanted the set because it came with Episodes 2, Anakin, and Obi-Wan. And that was the only set that came with both of them. And I wanted those figures, so that's why I got those. Hold on, is the stream lagging right now for you guys? All right, it looks like it's too good. LJ says, any tips for rock work? Um, get as many different happening. Why, why am I lagging? Hold on. Sorry about that, guys. I was lagging. I restarted the stream real quick. Can I check out the D-Day mock? Yes, I will check out your D-Day mock. LJ says, when I was nine, I built the gunship and my sister broke it. That is tragic. Did you rebuild it after that? Um, no, that is not Monday Night Raw on in the background. That's Monday Night Football. I have been watching it. It's on downstairs. Currently working on the other side of the circle. So this is what I'm working on. This is what I have to build. How do you feel about a remaster complete saga? Also, I always used to look online at new sets. I wish I could have they're too expensive. I used to do that but like in the Lego catalogs. That was one of the funnest things to do as a child, look through those Lego catalogs and see all the sets I'd never get. <laughs> But yeah, Remaster Complete Saga would be great. I'd love, well, yeah. Remaster Complete Saga would be nice with, like, updated figures. Better graphics. Commander Creed says, The oldest set I own that I spared from the destruction is the 2012 Avengers Quinjet. That's actually, did you not start collecting until, like, fairly recently? Or have you just destroyed that many of your sets? Hey, what's going on, Garrett? What's up, boyo? Cusco says, I'm actually really lucky because there's this antique store thing that sells older sets really cheap near me. That's always the greatest thing when you can find, like, comic book store, resale store that has good old Lego. <clears throat> if you guys didn't know, like... Comic book stores can sometimes, like, have Lego for sale, like, old Lego sets, so... You can find some in your area. I'd say call around and see if they have Lego sets, like, if you're looking for older sets for decent prices. CO Clone Commander says he has a 1974 space set. Holy crap. Says, yeah, most of the sets I had when I started getting to Lego 07, 08 would get broken apart. Yeah, like, all my sets from that time period are gone. <laughs> like, I have just, a, like, two trash bags full of just those old sets. Um, Lewis says, Jay, what are your thoughts on Jarek's X-Wing? I think it looks awesome. It's a really good-looking X-Wing. 
I think I still prefer Inthers, but there are a lot of things on Jerks that I like a lot. I'm still not. I'm just not a fan of that, like of that Lego windscreen piece. It just it just isn't correct, you know. I prefer the brick built cockpit for the X Wing until Lego releases one that is the correct shape. says, I think Jerex would be better than Enthers with an accurately uh, brick-built cockpit. Um, I don't know, there's still a few other things. Like I like, I definitely like the, the like the fact that the landing gear can retract into the engines on Jerex. I don't know if I like the fact that it's gray. I mean, I know that he did various colors for them, but to me it looked like the main one they did was gray. And, uh, I, I like white X-Wings. I like white X wings and gray snow speeders. That being said, it's a great looking X wing. Like I don't want to take anything away from them. Do you? I think the color dark tan is overused. No. But yeah, no. I love the fact that the sides, like of the fuselage, are snot on Jerex. Vardos is the ashy planet that was attacked by Operation Cinder, right? <laughs> yeah. For, it didn't put on its lotion. Yes, I do have the 2013 Republic gunship. I actually have every Republic gunship that LEGO has released. I only have the 2013 one and the 2002 one built, though. I had two of that 07 one, but neither of them are built. Do I recommend it? Absolutely. It's the best gunship, that's for sure. It's a great set. I wish I had more of it. <laughs> Commander Creed. Did someone say 2013 Lego Republic gunship? Jay, you got any designer clothes? Bro, all our rockets are Sachi. Says, Jay, I'm the guy who tagged you and Anakin. Oh, that was yours? I was just looking at that. Dude, it actually looks really good. I like it a lot. I like that design a lot. Pretty sure I gave it a favorite. Commander Creed says, Clone Wars gunship is good if you ignore the figures. It's a decent gunship. Um, only thing I don't like, and this isn't really any fault of like the design of the set, I just don't like the fact that it's the version of the gunship that has the two doors on the sides. I much prefer the one door design. Guzgo says, I also got the Republic Attack Frigate with the uh, Phase 1 Wolf. Is that the one? It comes with Wolf and... Uh, wolf and... Quellen Moss?
What am I streaming with? You mean like what program? I use OBS. Wolf, Boss, Yoda, another Jedi, and a Wolf Pack Trooper. I wish I had a single Wolf Pack Trooper. That'd be great. I think I prefer the Phase 2 Wolf Pack Trooper, though. It says, how's that yellow circle coming along? It's coming along pretty well. I'm almost done with the... Well, I wouldn't say I'm almost done, but I'm getting there. UCS Imperial Shuttle or Star Destroyer. Um, that's close, but I gotta go with the Star Destroyer. Are you trying to make the floor design for the remake? Yeah. So I, I have to do just the other side of it, and then I'll be done with the circle. I use the Logitech Tech C920 to stream. It's a webcam. It says I have two phase two. You have two phase two Wolfpack troops? I would absolutely be willing to work out a trade for that. Let me know what you want, and I'll see if I can get it. What's up, TCW4NC? Says, Jay, this is my first time joining your live stream. I'm glad to have you here, buddy. What do you want, CO Clone Commander? What would be a, a worthy trade for you? Garrett is at home, I'd guess. You gotta wake up at four? Why? Holy crap. Jay, how old do you think when you grow out of Lego? I don't know, maybe a hundred. Fave non UCS set from the original trilogy. Huh. Um, I don't know. Non UCS set from the original trilogy. Can the new Cloud City count? I'll pick that. I have to look into it first. Okay. Yeah, just let me know. I'm definitely willing to do that because I would love to have some of those figures. How would you like a new TIE Interceptor set? I'm kind of done with LEGO TIE Fighters. After Jared's TIEs, I don't really care for LEGO TIE Fighters anymore. Which is kind of depressing to say. Like, there's a whole range of sets that I just don't really care about. But, I mean, that's how it is. That's how it is. I have to wake up at 5 each morning for school because I have to do my hair. <laughs> okay. Oh, <laughs> You said that that one girl told you your hair made you look hot. Is this the first time you're using snot? No, it's not. If you that rhymed, if you go check out my Scarif mock, I did a landing platform that was snot. It wasn't nearly this big, but it was still pretty big.
Jay, what will you trade for one of your unbuilt 2007 gunships? I could even trade that. Like, I don't know. Like, all the pieces aren't together. And I've definitely poached from it, so. so that's something I could easily trade. It's probably wouldn't trade this, but I have Darth Malagus. I somewhat recently picked up Darth Malagus. Great figure. Great figure. What if Lego made a battle pack of the most hated characters in Star Wars? So they could include Jar Jar, Episode 2 Obi-Wan, Darth Maul, and who else could they include? Size Snoodles. There we go. One era of Star Wars you wish they made more sets for? I would like more episode two sets in general. I think that's probably the most underrepresented uh, episode. Do you like Revan and do you suggest it? Yes and yes. Do you hate when you're building a mock and there's like no progress for like two weeks? There's sets and figs and pieces all over. <laughs> uh, something like that. Says the Rose Tico Jar Jar Mace Windu and Clone Wars Tarkin battle pack. <laughs> Why Clone Wars Tarkin? Do you have an Admiral Akbar figure? Yes. I have a couple. I have his original trilogy and sequel trilogy figure. What's up, Bricks Builds? Welcome back. How can someone forget the Rich Boy Gummies? Maybe that'll be one of the donation tiers. A $7 donation gets you a genuine pack of rich boy gummies <laughs> Garrett says I don't remember rich boy gummies because I got memory loss after eating them yeah rich boy gummies have been known to have various side effects would I trade the sequel trilogy one for a wolf pack trooper no, because that's the only... I only have one of those. If I had more than one of those, I'd do it, but... Zandy says, all right, so remember that prison arc in the Clone Wars because in that, Ahsoka, Anakin, and Plo Koon had to liberate that short Jedi and Tarkin. Tarkin was like a much more annoying Jar Jar. You're talking about from the, at the Citadel. I don't, Tarkin wasn't annoying. He was just, he was very evil. Anakin like agreed with him for the most part. They got along pretty well.
says, Jay, are you sure for Vardos there's that much yellow? Because I do not that much. Um, yeah. <laughs> there's not the, I haven't put that much yellow on this mock. Don't worry. And yes, I did see the BrickWiz roast video. If you remember the original Lego Agents, you're a real one. Real one. I wasn't really into a bunch of Lego themes that weren't Star Wars. Like, once I started getting Lego Star Wars, it was pretty much that. And there was some city stuff in there, too. But really only because I wanted to do brick films with it. But it was Star Wars was very overwhelming for me when it came to Lego sets. Five says Tarkin became right at the end of that arc. If the Republic had a prison like that, less prison breaks would happen. Yeah, there's. I've been rewatching the Clone Wars, and there's a surprising amount of prison breaks that happen. The worst one is with Zero. Oh my god. Can we put Zero up there for the worst Star Wars character? Like, why would why would he do that? Like, I know a lot of you love Dave Filoni, but I can't, not, I can't forgive him not only for making Zero the Hut, but I can't forgive him more for having there be, like, a love dynamic between Zero and Psy Snoodles. It's like, you, he, he made a super annoying character, and then he doubled down by having that super annoying character and the most annoying character in the original trilogy, like, link up, like... It was almost like a, an inside joke. Jay, if it weren't for Lego Wrestling, you wouldn't be where you are today. <laughs> yeah. I, I'd like to say that I still would have somehow found my way into Lego Star Wars YouTube, but who knows? Who knows? What's up, the Brick Finesser? Wait, what HUD had a fake mustache? Say it again?
Garrett, that is the weirdest question I've ever been asked on stream. And no, that has never happened. But wait, okay, did someone say something about a hut with a fake mustache? Did that actually happen? I mean, I wouldn't be surprised, because Dave Filoni, but... Like... What do you think of the Star Wars Black Series line? I actually have a bunch of 6-inch Black Series figures. No, drink tea. I didn't make a single cent from that video because I had a copyrighted song in it. it. Says, who's higher up at your store? You or Garrett? We're at the same level. Yes, I will watch the new Clone Wars, and yes, I'll probably buy the sets. I swear in the Clone Wars of Rebels there was a hut with a mustache. I wouldn't be surprised because Dave... Oh, freaking Dave Filoni. I really don't want this to become a Dave Filoni hate stream, but freaking Dave Filoni, I swear. Ugh. Our Brickheads or Funko Pops better? Um, I, by default, Brickheads are better because they're Lego, but I think both of them are garbage. Sorry to those of you who actually like Brickheads. I know there are quite a few, but I think they're garbage. I would totally take on Dave Filoni in a boxing match. I would love to do that. Though I think I feel about Dave Filoni the way a lot of Star Wars fans feel about Ryan Johnson. Shout out to TCW4NC for subscribing. Appreciate it. I have no face to all white clones. I have zero. And I ain't talking about the hut. Um, I know what I'm going to do after Vardos. Can't say it, though. Oh, I have plenty of the old ones. I thought you were talking about, like, the most updated ones. Am I fives? Am I? I'm sorry, I might drink tea. I don't know why I thought you were fives. The ATST mock review will come. I'm kind of trying to hold off on it until I actually use it in my Vardos mock. Like, that'll be my introduction. Like, oh, this is the mock I'm going to be using, guys. Check it out. Welcome back, Jedi Bob. When are you going to stream with more people? I would certainly like to. I just, I found myself in more and more positions where it's just like, oh, let me just start streaming right now and don't really have the opportunity to invite people on because it's kind of last minute even for me. But uh, it'll certainly happen sometime down the line. 
Zandy says, if I donate $100, then could your next block be a prequel appreciation block? I would heavily consider that. Do you think Lego will give Bosk dual loaded, dual loading, dual molded legs? That would be ideal. I don't know if it'll happen anytime soon on the count of he just recently got an updated figure in that Bounty Hunter Battle Pack, which should have been dual molded in the first place, but you know Lego. Hundred dollars and Jade makes a Jar Jar bus in the style of a Darth Maul bus. That would actually be kind of cool. I don't know if you'd need to pay me to do that. Although, if you'd like to, I certainly wouldn't stop you. Appreciate that, Brick Wiz. Welcome to my house party, party. Finally almost done with the other side of the circle. Well, I need to grab my two by six bricks. Drink tea, it always surprises me how far you're willing to take a joke question. Like, you'll ask it once, and then you'll, like, keep spamming it. Like, how, like, how do you expect for me to answer that? Like, it's a joke question. <laughs> like, what am I supposed to do with that? How many death sticks for the clones? My clones don't do death sticks. They're healthy boys. Will there be another fan room? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Gonna have to involve some rich boy gummies. Drink tea is a phantom menace. 
It says, Jay, I just scrolled down to your first video ever. You uploaded it on my birthday. Was it February something? Jedi Bob, you will absolutely be in the fan appreciation room. See, I can afford to put you in, like, a room in this mock, because most of the rooms will be covered. That way I won't have to have a yellow figure exposed. No offense. I want to have... Well, the fan appreciation room is going to have me having a boxing match with Dave Filoni. Jedi Bob, we've had this discussion many times. Commander Creed, you can absolutely referee the boxing match. Only if you'd agree to, to let me win, though. Where do you... Are you in Florida? I'm sorry to hear that, man. I live in Houston. We got a terrible hurricane a year ago. I think they could just include him. I mean, I don't think they would do it. It's because they, they seem to be in the business of having, like, all, like, named figures. They don't really go out of their way to do their custom um, types of figures anymore. So I don't see it happening. But if they wanted to, they could just throw him in as a generic Jedi. And I think probably the Geonosian Arena set would be the most ideal for it. Just because we see so many Jedi in there that we don't know the names of. So it could work. <laughs> no, you can't be crushed by an ATST in this mock. Appreciate that, Commander Creed. Freaking Zero the Hut. Oh my god. I can't believe Dave Filoni has fans after Zero the Hut. You're good, drink tea. What's up, DP Studios? What up, my boyo? I got a mini fig haul coming in, haul vid coming in three minutes. What'd you get? What things did you get, bro? Give us the lowdown. Jay, how do you get so many viewers these last six streams? I don't know. I guess they just think I'm cool and awesome. <sighs> so it's that Nabu animal. I think it's called a Kadu. Then a... Uh, Lord of the Rings and Hobbit figures. Okay, that's cool. 
Yeah, there's a car to you. It's a good figure. I wish they'd do like an updated one with actual prints on it, but the old one kind of holds up. My dream job is getting paid lots of money to build Lego stuff on YouTube. If I could do this full time, I totally would. Jeez, Commander Creed, you need to roast the boyo like that. Should I build a Jedi Bob apartment mock? Absolutely. All right. So we got ourselves a circle. Well, we got two circles, actually. How about that? This is going to be the thumbnail for the next update video. It's just going to be like... Guys, this is so exciting. I'm going to invite you all to my home. Oh, you walk through the door and they're like, Hello, this is my home. This is my lovely wife, Brenda. She is two circles. Isn't she beautiful? She's two circles. Don't be jealous, because your wife is one circle, while Brenda is two circles. I saw the way you were looking at Brenda, and I don't appreciate it. Get your own two-circled wife, pervert. All right, see you, Jedi Bob. <sighs> All right, we got two circles. Wow. These circles are finger licking good. Let's see, Commander Creed. Commander Creed, is your American girlfriend only one circle? I'm sorry to hear that. Not everyone can have a girlfriend who's two circles. It's okay, man. Appreciate that X8 ball. I'm gonna work on this thing now.
Got the good stuff. Appreciate that tipping top hat. So apparently it's supposed to be storming here in Houston tomorrow, which I hope it doesn't because that would be annoying, but we shall see. Hopefully the force will be with us. X8 Ball says, will you ever build a Mustafar mock? I'd say so. I don't know when, but it'll definitely happen at some point. I have some like pretty cool ideas for a Mustafar mock. We'll have to find someone to make me a custom pregnant Padme figure, though. Since Lego refuses to give us what we want. It says, do you like the opportunity to work with new colors or more of a certain color in the mock? Um, I'd like to say yeah. Just because, you know, I'd like, you know, getting to work with things I don't maybe don't normally get to work with. But there's definitely something to be said for getting to work with something you already have a lot of. Like, I obviously build a lot of things in dark gray since I'm primarily a Star Wars builder. And, you know, a lot of the stuff I build ends up being dark gray, but it's nice because I have so much of it to begin with. So it's money that I get to save. So it, it kind of goes both ways, you know. I like, I think I enjoy getting to work with like new types of things. Like obviously Creed is mostly white with the salt flats and it was a very flat type of terrain. Whereas this one, it's obviously more urban because I get to, you know, do buildings and streets and stuff like that, which will be pretty cool. I think. What was my what are my thoughts on the using Vong arc in Legends? I think it's garbage. It's just so ridiculous. Like so many of the arcs in Legends are just way over the top. Will I be streaming Friday? Um I don't know. Probably not. But we'll see. says, Lego will most likely create a pregnant torso mold in the city thing. Yeah, I could see it. Or even it's like a collectible minifigure. But yeah, no, where's our pregnant figures? We're getting closer. We have like, you know, more and more of those baby molds being pumped out. So I can see a pregnant mold coming sooner rather than later. And then they can transfer it over to Star Wars and then give us the Padme we all know and love. The pregnant one. Because they even made a baby harness mold. Yeah, they did, didn't they? And that, um... The mountain, like the, the newest minifigure pack. May the 4th Pregnant Ray. You mean Pregnant Padme? Let's talk about Ray. So, are there any of you in the chat who were disappointed in her parent reveal? Like, were you expecting something more? I know I got into this on the most recent Your Questions Answered, but trust me, this is going somewhere. All right, so for those of you who did want some special parent for her, what parent could they have announced that would have actually like fulfilled you? Like you would have been happy with the answer. Like if it if her if her parent if her dad ended up being Luke, right? And she like shows up to Octo and he's like, "Oh, I have something to tell you. You're my daughter." And then she's like, why did you abandon me? And, you know, they have to have that conversation. Would you guys have preferred that? Would you have liked that? 
Lego Nerd 25 says Iden and Dell. Okay. DP says Obi Wan. How would that even like? Well, so I guess the point I'm getting at is, did it really matter to you guys who her parents were, so long as they were like someone you knew of? Like, would would you have been equally as satisfied if it were just some random Jedi we never heard of, and then it's like, oh, your parent was this Jedi who died? Like, would that have satisfied you? Or did you specifically need her parents to be, like, someone we already knew? Okay, this is getting on my nerves. Obi-Wan dies, but his wife would still leave her there. Do you know how, like, old Obi-Wan would have had to have been, like, to have bared a child that was Rey's age? Like, I'm pretty sure Kylo Ren is supposed to be older than Rey. Like, the the timing definitely doesn't work out for Obi Wan. <laughs> Cause I'm pretty sure Kylo's older than Rey. Kylo wasn't born until you know way after Obi Wan died. So how would Obi Wan have had a child that's younger than Kylo Ren? But Kylo was born. It would have to be, like, Obi-Wan's granddaughter. But then, like, that means, like, re like Obi-Wan's daughter would have had to had a, had a child at, like, a very young age. The timing really just doesn't work out with Obi-Wan. And yes, Garrett, I'm planning on adding new mods soon. And I would love for you to be one of them. It's just you can't stop yourself from insulting a certain YouTuber. <laughs> Ray came from an alternate timeline. Yeah, guys, I would have made a much better parent for Ray. I think the issue with Luke being her parent, too, is, like, I feel like Luke really didn't appreciate being abandoned on a desert planet, and I think worst-case scenario, Luke would have took Rey with him to Octo. He certainly wouldn't have abandoned her, not after his upbringing. Like, if they had written that the movies in such a way where, like, Luke was her dad and, like left her on Jack Who. I, don't, that w I feel like that would have just gone against everything we knew about the development of his character and how much he like didn't appreciate being alone on uh, Tatooine. Milk Please says, Hey Jay, I'm always at work when you stream, but I wanted to say you're doing God's work, my dude. The Monster Guard are amazing. I hope to collab with you someday. Oh, thank you, man. Have a good one. You too, buddy. Job of the Hut being repainted. But yeah, like as I stated on um, your questions answered, like I don't I don't like it being set up that every powerful Jedi needs to have powerful parents. Like I'd argue Yoda was the most powerful Jedi. A yogi, I, and I'd say, you know, Mace Windu and Obi-Wan were both more powerful Jedi than Anakin, yet none of them needed to have powerful parents. Yeah, honestly, the only, like, way I would have 
liked Rey's parent announcement even more as if Jedi Bob was her dad. That would have made probably the most sense out of anything. How many of you in the chat actually own a Jedi Bob minifigure? I don't know if I, Jedi Bob, do you actually own the Jedi Bob minifigure? Jay, would you honestly be fine with Jabba the Hutt being Ray's parent? Once again, the timing doesn't work out with that. Uh, yeah, I'll be at the gallery on Saturday. What if Ray was actually the daughter of clone deserter who married a tweet? What's up, BB Brick 649? One of our newest moderators. How, like, after that arc in the Clone Wars, how many of, like, how many clone deserters do you think there were that had children with Twi'leks? Why is it always Twi'leks, too? Like, Twi'leks are so fetishized in Star Wars, it's honestly kind of creepy. Like, I get it why, like, the fanboys love it, but. I feel like the Clone Wars just, like, went overboard with it. Like, I don't know. I feel like in the original trilogy, like, they just got these alien girls to just be, like, the, the like, slave dancers. Or even, it was just Ula, actually. Um, but, like, the Clone Wars just went way overboard with it. Like... All of, like, the Twi'leks were just, like, all sexualized and fetishized. I don't know. It very much seems like that was, like, the fanboy and Dave Filoni, like, leaking into the show and just being like, oh, like, well, this guy's gonna have a wife. There has to be a Twi'lek, because that's everyone's dream to have a Twi'lek wife. And then you have the same thing with, like, Kanan and Hera. Like, the love story has to be with a Twi'lek. Like, I don't know. <laughs> Commander Creed says Twi'leks are the ideal female. <laughs> So needs to make that picture, like just have a picture of a tweet like be like, you may not like this is the ideal female body. You may not like it, but this is it. <laughs> Togrudas are a close second. Oh my god. What's up, Dead Meme sixty nine? And BB Brick six four nine says, "Should I donate?" Hmm. I definitely would not be against that. It says, if you didn't have a soak on a on a crush on Ahsoka, you were not straight. Most people hated Ahsoka. A Togruta is Ahsoka species, as well as Shakti. I mean, we were all we were all teens when the Clone Wars came out. We were of the right age. Welcome back, CO Clone Commander. Soka was raised 90-year-old mom confirmed. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Wow, whoa, we will. Says, I think I told Bricknado this, but one of my professors came to class 
and a blue bull costume and wow I'm not finishing that <laughs> what is going on in the chat right now V Brick 649 says what do you think of the new winter set I think it's alright it's, it's whatever Mary Allen's are the ugliest of the species you mean like of the girls or just in general I guess we, we never see a guy one do we I'll have the mini kits whenever the mock's done. That's gonna be my my gift to myself. All right, so this is not a problem. No, I've never bought one of those European. Uh, I know exactly what you're talking about. I don't. I don't own any of those though. J versus Nightbot. I am Nightbot, actually. Yeah, dude, don't hate on chicken tendies. If you go to a restaurant and you're not ordering chicken tenders, you're doing life wrong. Welcome back, Forever Lego Studios. How is Hawk coming along, my guy? Am I gonna see the nun? Probably not. What's gonna be the tier for a hundred dollars? I'm not sure. I want it like for a hundred dollars a lot. I'd love. I want to do something like cool. That's why I've kind of left them ambiguous. But um, I don't know. I've been trying to think of something like very special to do for those higher tiers. Not sure yet though. Sorry, it's not a great answer. Says it is going great. I have the parts coming in tomorrow as well as Friday. I'm buying about 500 six by six plates in white and the rest of the base plates for the next section. That sounds awesome. Jack the Rebel says, hey, Jay and Boyos in the chat. What's up? What's going on, bro? Ooh. 
Appreciate that, Hunter. I totally look messed up on the connection points for the side of this. We we'll have to figure this out, which is going to be kind of annoying. <laughs> like the stream, your next mock is going to burn. Yeah, do it. Like the stream, guys. How do you mess up? Yeah, so basically, the it's kind of hard to explain, but the this part of the circle has to connect to this on the, its side, like right here, right? But it also has to connect here at the top, and the like they weren't lined up properly. So I have to take off the bricks with studs on the sides from here, and like put them in a place that actually it lines up with this part over here. Scenario, you walk into a club with your mates, you see a Twi'lek, Turgruta, Marillion, Nemoidian, and a protocol droid with female programming. Which do you choose? Uh, I'm going with a protocol droid with female programming. I, I need me a L3, bro. Call me Lando. Alright, <laughs> L3 is very thick. Alright guys, now that Solo has been out for a while, it's time for us all to turn in our rankings. I want everyone in the chat right now, in one chat, post your Star Wars rankings for all the Star Wars movies, excluding the Clone Wars movie, because we all know that's garbage. Ryder says, many kits are my favorite part to your mocks. I'm glad you think so. It was a like really popular thing at the convention we took it to. Like, there are so many kids you came by and were spending a lot of time just looking for the mini kits. So it's always fun to see. Do it in one chat, guys. Do not spam the chat with like one movie. But yeah, rank them from worst to best. No, best to worst. So Best one at the top, worst at the bottom. Turning them rankings, guys. I need to know who's a true boyo and who's just faking. Macon Bacon says, 5, 4, 6, Solo, Rots, TFA, Phantom Menace, Rogue One, Attack of the Clones, Last Jedi. Joe Wheeler says, 4, 5, 7, 6, Rogue One, Solo, Episode 8, Prequels. Commander Creed says, Empire, New Hope, Force Awakens, Last Jedi, Rogue One, Turn of the Jedi, Phantom Menace, Rots, I can't believe you put a, the Phantom Menace above Rots and Attack of the Clones. No, oh my god. Lego Nerd 25 says Clone Wars TV show, original trilogy, Rogue One, everything else. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Creed, you forgot Solo. Parker says 365. Oh my god. Rogue One, 874, Solo, 1 2. I don't understand how <laughs> it really baffles me when people have like episode three really high like the first one and then episodes two like at the very opposite side like I feel like if you love episode three like you 
by definition have to love episodes one and two at least for them to be higher than like the bottom two movies like the problems in episodes one and two are the same problems as episode three like i don't i don't get how people can like love three but not like one and two but still say one and two are like the worst movies you know like i really don't get it Jay, you should stream on my birthday Friday, ranking all, all, I like them all, except the first half of episode two. Henry Hurst says, six, three, Rogue, I'm assuming Rogue One, eight, five, Solo, one, two. Huh, that's interesting. Forever Lego Studio says, three, five, four, Rogue One, six, one, eight, seven, two. Wow. Expedited at Cover Run says five, four, seven, eight, Rogue One, Solo, three, one, two. I that's very close to my ranking. Our Soul says Empire, Hope, Revenge, Solo, Return of the Jedi, Rouge One, Episode Seven, Phantom, Episode Eight, Attack of the Clones. I don't dislike TLJ for a lot of reasons people talk about. I actually like the direction of Luke. And explore new territory in Star Wars, and I also liked Rose. Like I said, it just it blows me away how like three is so many people's favorite movie, but they still like think one and two are the worst movies. It says I just think there were some weird inconsistencies within the movie and pacing issues that took me out of the movie. It made it annoying to watch. I can see it. All right, see you, Kuzgo. It was a pleasure having you around. So, I, think, I, I look at it this way. Like, obviously, I'm a Star Wars fan, <laughs> if you guys couldn't guess that. But I, I think I like the prequels in a different way than I like the other movies. Like, the movies that aren't the prequels... Like, I actually enjoy watching his movies. Like, it makes me happy to watch them. Whereas the prequels, like, they, they make me groan. And there's a lot of things about them that irritate me. But I, like, appreciate the fact that I... I don't know, like, I appreciate the Star Wars stuff in it. You know, like... Like, the ships and some of the lore. A lot of the locations are cool conceptually and that's pretty much it like I actually I like I enjoy the story of the other movies whereas the prequels I could care less about the story all right guys go check out DP Studios's haul video Parker says why do the prequels irritate you so much I don't get it Oh god. Ugh. Let's try this again. All right. All right. Ryder says his list is worst to first. Solo, Phantom Menace, Last Jedi, Force Awakens, Attack of the Clones, Revenge of the Sith, Rogue One, New Hope, Return, and then Empire. <laughs> so it says get this bad of separator. Yeah, that was annoying. Um, I can go all day about what irritates me about the prequels but I'll boil I'll make it really simple actually the biggest thing I don't like about the prequels is the lack of tension like there's no it doesn't feel like there's any stakes when anything happens like there's no excitement like I, I always tell people watching the two the prequels is like reading a Star Wars textbook you're just having the information passive, passively given to you. It's like, oh, okay, that happened. Oh, okay, that happened. Whereas, regardless of how you feel about the sequels, like, they're filmed in, like, an exciting way, you know? Like, the characters, like, 
seem to have much a much greater range of emotions and acting is so much better and i don't know it just feels like an actual movie you know it doesn't it doesn't just feel like i'm just getting told star wars knowledge it's just they're just more fun and inspired movies Jack the Rebel says, Jay, as a prominent a in the community, oh, thank you, and a YouTube professional, do you think my name change from Rebels Come Forward to Jack the Rebel and the SigFig profile pic are more professional? Um, I, I, I'd put Rebels Come Forward and Jack the Rebel on the same level on, as for YouTube professionalism. This thing about YouTube, you don't really need to have a super official sounding name to be a YouTuber, you know, just pick, like, Rich Boy J, I wouldn't consider it professional at all, you know, just pick something that you feel best represents you, like, that's gonna be your name, like, that's gonna stick with you throughout your entire YouTube career, so pick something you like. Um, I like the sig fig change for the profile pick, I think I'd like for that to become more of a norm in the LEGO Star Wars community, like, people using sig figs as their YouTube picks. Joe says, it feels like the bare minimum was done for a lot of the scenes at the prequels. Yeah, exactly. Like, they're just, they just seem so uninspired, you know? Like, like, it didn't, like, there's no creativity. There's no, like, oh, let's shoot this scene in an interesting way to convey something. It's just like, how can we just get this done quickly, you know? Five says, Jay, what happened to Bailey? I don't see him around. So Bailey announced, like, he was pretty much done with Lego Star Wars and wanted to focus on, like, a... a a gaming YouTube channel, so that's that. How do I feel about the new Spider-Man game? I don't own it, but I really want to own it. It looks awesome. Spider-Man is probably my favorite superhero. Behind the Scorpion King. All right, let's figure this out. I don't have the hiccups. But no, hiccups are not a side effect of Rich Boy Gummies. Don't start that rumor. Yeah, no problem, Jack. And no, I do not know about that, the proposal meme with the Star Wars game. I don't know what an NMD or an Ultra Boost is. I'm sorry. When are the gummies getting a mock? It's a great question. I don't know. I'd like to incorporate them into this mock somehow. Jack says, how large will the Corvus be? Is it feasible to make it minifig scale? Now, nah, minifig scale would just be too big. It'd be like a third the size of this mock, but it'll basically be like two gray base plates. Ciao.
All right, see you, Hunter. Kachiga. CM Brick says, just got into Star Wars recently and really falling in love with the sets, starting a ship collection now. That's awesome. What sets do you have? So, so basically a guy went through a lot to get some game designers to put, will you marry me? Uh, and then two weeks before the game release, she dumped him for his brother. Did that actually happen? That is so sad. Oh my god. And yeah, that man definitely did not eat his rich boy gummies. Alright, see you, Campy. Glad Rick says, what is my worst Lego experience? I did a video on, uh, it's called Storytime. I think it, I may have actually titled it my worst Lego experience. But, the long story short, I ordered some Lego from this guy. He first shipped it to the wrong person. Then, that person shipped it back to him. And then he shipped it back to me. But when he shipped it back to me the second time... He, it was like delayed in the mail for like three weeks and we thought it was lost. And when he said it the second time, he was like, I'll make it better by sending you some extra figures, you know, as basically compensation for shipping it to the wrong person the first time. And whenever I got it in, you know, after a month of waiting for it, like I open it up and the extra figures he sent me are both knockoff. It's just two knockoff first order flame troopers. And this was back when, like, they only came in that first order transporter set, so they were pretty hard to get. And I looked at them at first, I'm like, oh, sweet, like, I'm glad to have more of these. And then upon closer inspection, I realized they're knockoffs. And then I contacted him, I'm like, maybe he just didn't know. And I'm like, did you know these were knockoffs? And he's like, yeah, I didn't really think it mattered. And I'm just like, whatever. So yeah, that's that's my worst Lego experience. What are, you, what are your guys' worst Lego experiences? CM Bricks says, I made this channel to showcase my city and did that strong for two years collecting modulars. Was what I got into. Got all of them since the fire brigade and got burnt out. That's annoying um, that you got burnt out, but that sounds like a great modular collection. Hey, what's up, Rogue Rebel?
thoughts on future Star Wars movies? Uh, what do you mean? Be more Pacific. Appreciate that, Andrew. How big is your Lego City Galactic Grapes? Also, guys, if you ain't know, Galactic Bricks is currently doing a dope Kessel series, and it, I really love the style of his updates. It's just, they're very enjoyable videos to watch, and I definitely recommend anyone, everyone, go check it out. Go check out that man series. So, so pro, no problem. So the question, it's not just the landing platform, right? You mean uh, like the mock? The mock will definitely be more than just the landing platform. <laughs> Jay, can I be in the mock? You're going to be in the mock. What's up, Bricks, to you? Yeah, no problem, dude. You totally deserve it. Keep up the great work. Where do I get all the pieces to build this? I've just been collecting for a long time. As you collect... For a while, your collection gets bigger and bigger. Can I make a Batu mock? I don't even know what that is. What is that? Jack says, how do you be in the mock? There's two ways. Um, I think, what is it? $15 donation will get you in the mock. Yeah, either a $15 donation. It doesn't have to be all at once. Just once, if you eventually reach $15 in donations, that's your way to get into the mock. Otherwise, uh, you can get into the mock by being a moderator, which you can be by coming to the f streams frequently, uh, rep representing, being a good representative of the Boyo Code. That's how I described it last time. So yeah, which means just, you know, coming frequently, contributing substantive things to the chat. Need reliable people to be, to be Boyos be moderators did I donate a hundred dollars I think you're like 70 something all the donations that people have done are in the description so I think you're at like 70 something how do you plan out your mocks you're doing great on the landing platform um, I kind of go through this in that first uh, update video but essentially what I did was just like First, I set up all these base plates and I like made outlines you know, with uh, orange bricks to like figure out where everything's gonna go. Like I kind of did like basically like a map of the mock on the base plates, and now I'm just kind of following my guidelines on the table for where everything's gonna go. What's up? We got a Dorier in the house. What's going on, Boyo? Commander Creed says, am I boy material? You know what? You absolutely are. I've been meaning to do this for a while. Commander Creed, we confer on you the rank of Boyo Knight. Congratulations. You come here often enough, and I feel you represent the Boyo code well enough. <laughs> the boyos are taking over.
The boy of night. It would be cool if, like, in Discord, we could have roles in the chat. Have people hit certain ranks. Shaggy made it onto the Boyo Club. Did you see that picture I took? I made basically a Lego Shaggy. Did you ever see that, Creed? Do I have a schedule and place for moderators? Not really. Um, I just it's just kind of something like as we go along. If I notice, you know. Someone's been really active and I think would make a good moderator. I will mod that boyo. Yo, hold on. Here, I'll pull it up real quick. I, th I think I posted it on Insta. If not, I definitely... Actually, no. It's on... Where is that? I definitely got on my Flickr. Give me one sec. Oh, I just scrolled right to it. Hold on. I only scrolled right to it and I actually scrolled off of it. Here we go. Like zoinks, dude. That might be my favorite figure I've ever made. Hey, shout out everybody. Go sub to Adorier. He says he's only 25 subs from a thou. Give that man a sub. I'm going to have to, like, if whenever I do my, uh, Inevitable Geonosis mod. I would definitely have to include Jedi, Padawan, Shaggy. Yeah, Bob, I'll check out your video. And BB Bricks, I'll check out your channel. In case I forget, shoot me a message on Insta so I don't forget. Any mock ideas? I would like to see more people do Taco Dada, honestly. Jack says, responsibility of a moderator boy would be stopping people from spamming and generally maintaining a respectful and good chat, right? Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. Ryder says, I need to learn the boyo code. Will you teach me? Nah, you're too old. Too old. And you are ragless. Yeah, Yavin 4 would be nice, too. The only, Yavin 4 is one of those mines that just requires a lot of space because you got to have various ships parked on the tarmac.
you could downscale the ships. The only issue with downscaling the ships is like if you want to have figures like walking around on it because that's the thing you know it's not like a space battle or something like you pretty much have to have figures walking around on the tarmac as well. <sighs> Drink tea this is why you're not a mod. Yes, I have seen Jarek's X-Wing. It's a very, very nice looking mod. Drink tea has a million accounts, I swear. Oh my god. Drink tea, if you'd like to be mod at some point, you're gonna have to stop coming into the chat with a million different accounts. Jared Bob says, Jay, how could I become a mod? Um, what's the mod spiel? Um, the gist of it is you have to be relatively active in the chat. Like, obviously, if, you, if you're going to be a mod, I need you to be here a lot of the time. And, uh, I don't know, show that you're a good representative of the Boyo code. It says, when the stream ends, let me know how many to close. Yeah, I'll let you know, bro. I will let you know. If I ever did a Jedi Temple mock, in one of the classrooms, I would totally have, like, like a group of presenters standing in front of the class, lecturing the children on why they sh like the, the damages that death sticks will do to you and why you shouldn't do death sticks. And then, of course, there will inevitably be that one kid selling death sticks behind the school. He says, have one of the classrooms with a mod teach a lesson on the Boyo Code. Yes. It's all about the Boyo Code. He says, hey, Jay, how is it building an Imperial platform with colors other than dark gray, black, and light gray? I know it would drive me crazy. Uh, it is what it is. I've been, honestly been enjoying building this. CL Clone Commander says, did you put my sig fig in the crate mock? Yeah, every, anyone who I made a sig fig for definitely got one. It was it was in the mock. I'm sure if you go check out the like 
finale video, you'll spot it somewhere in there. All right, see ya, Jedi Bob. A rich boy gummies canon in the Star Wars universe? I'd hope so. It says, what's Brick Plummer's status in the Lego community? Last I heard, he's been, like, moving recently, so... He may or may not still be doing that. Do I have any mock ideas? Um, I don't know. It's so hard. Like, I mean, there's stuff, like, stuff, like, that I would like to build and stuff that I would like to see built, but... But it's ultimately really going to boil down to, like, what do you want to build? Like, what do you want to spend your time working on? How much longer I think I'll be doing this stream? I don't know. I feel like I'll be going for a little while longer. I got the parts to build for a little while. Ideally, I'd like to, like, just fill in this entire section. And even the one at the top. So we shall see. We shall see. Has anyone donated? Yeah, we've had a few people donate today. We've had a few boyos show some love. <laughs> Kevin says... Hold on. Andrew says, I've donated my attention. Make an extra nanoscale mock of Vardos. I low-key want to do, like, a room in the smock of me sitting in a room building the smock. says, what is your favorite color to use most prominently on Imperial mocks? Black seems too dark. It says, in too much light, gray makes it seem too much like Rebels. Thoughts? This is the first Imperial mock I've done, and I'm obviously using a lot of dark gray. So I'm, I'm going to go dark gray. Says, are you ready for the Fallen Order game? What is that? Moderators, can you please get rid of the imposter? Star Wars Fallen Order, new Star Wars game announced at E3 this year. How did I totally miss that? Was that, E3 wasn't recent. What is it about? Oh, okay, no, I know exactly what you're talking about. Oh, it's the one, it's the game of like... You're, you play as a Jedi after Order 66. Okay, no, I totally forgot about that. Um, yeah, I'm super hyped for that. I am super hyped for that, actually.
Moderators, you may fire when ready. Moderators, please execute the imposters. Appreciate that, Andrew. Yeah, I have a sneaking suspicion that it's drink tea. That was not the real David. I'll tell any guys, anyone who like most people, most of like the bigger YouTubers who have actually who would actually come to one of these streams, I've made a moderator. That way, if they come in, we'll know it's the real one. So if a big YouTuber comes in and they're not a moderator, chances are it's a fake. What's up, Trev? Just been working on this platform, this here platform. What's up, kid? The tags? It has been a while. It says, what's the process like to build a mock as big as a Corvus? Right, recently I've just been doing a lot of like schematic, like looking at pictures, and I started kind of building a frame that it could be on, so I don't know. It just really just first got to figure out, you know, what the frame's going to look like and just the general shape of it, and then. After that, start filling in a lot of smaller details. The Corvus is going to be about two gray base plates in size. Are you going to make Inferno Squad figures? Um, my plan is to go through like AV figures and have some customs made. Is the Corvus going to be minifig scale or smaller? It'll be smaller than minifig scale. Minifig scale would just be way too big for this mock. <laughs> it would take up like a third of the mock.
Um, probably not gonna make the Spartus the Cinder satellites. There'd just be nowhere to put them. Like I would have to find out a way to suspend them in the air, like really high above the mock. <laughs> Chase? I'm streaming. Okay. Alright, well. So, do you have any tips? on YouTube because I've been thinking of starting a channel um, upload frequently that's the best way all right there is a Garrett <laughs> Mini fig scale destroyed Alderaan. I don't even know if I have a brick enough bricks for that. No, Stormy has not stopped by. Alright, so I'm going to take a little break, guys. My mom just arrived, and I need to go help her with something. So I'm going to put this on hold for maybe about 20 minutes, probably less. And then I'll be back, and we can continue building. So I'll leave the stream up. Well, I'll leave the chat up. You guys can... Talk amongst yourselves, and I will be back.
All right, I'm back earlier than expected. Still doing my build thing. <clears throat> that is an interesting question. How did you guys find this channel? Oh God. Darth Thomas says, Ryan, was it one of his vlogs or how did, how did you find it? Like what, which one of his videos? What's up kid, the takes? This Kratos would hook me and the Falcon interior. Awesome. Some good times. Some really good times. So it's Brick Fair, Virginia. Gotcha. That was such an awesome experience. It says add cold like hop to the interventions, intermissions like we just had. Like just have it on loop. I'll see if I can do that. I feel a lot of people will get annoyed with that really quickly. Ryder says, I don't know how I found the channel, but I'm glad I did. I'm glad you did too, man. Why seagulls? What's up, Commander Creed? Hello there. Says I was looking for Star Wars crate mocks and your channel was suggested. Okay, cool. That's nice to know. Is CAC good? Um, a lot of people really like it, so I'd say yeah, they do good work. I was watching Matt, he said something about you, so I pressed that sub button so fast. Awesome.
I need a counter for how many times I do that. The best life lesson I can give you all is no matter what, always adhere to the Boyo code. Says, wait, does that mean I get thirty, fifty dollar tiers? Yeah, the tiers are rolling. So whatever you get, you get everything below that as well. Once I figure out what those are, you'll get them. What's up, Mister Bricks? What is the Boyo code? It's not in the archives. Many have searched. The Boyo code isn't something I can just tell you. It's something you just have to find. It's your own spiritual journey, like, similar to becoming a Jedi. And BB Bricks, you are very close. You're very close. What do you hope to get done this week? I really just want to finish this entire between this and the Big Walker. Jay, what's your favorite non-Star Wars movie? Back to the Future. Yeah, guys, please no begging to be moderator. That is not what I want. Like I said, if you... It's just, it's just something I'll decide, you know. Whenever I see people who are around, I'll, I'll pick them. But please don't beg to be moderator. It's not a good look. Is anyone going to Star Wars Celebration? That's a good question. Have any of you ever, are you, any of you going or have ever been to a Star Wars Celebration? I've never been to one. I'd love to go, though. So is it Jack get banned? Or he got put in timeout. He did not get banned. <laughs> Wait, are you still streaming? Yes, I am still streaming. <laughs> I 
I'm not sure on the ideas for tiers yet. Not sure yet. Well, I have a few, but I don't. I don't want to say them until I know it for sure, because I wouldn't want to like say it right now, and then it not end up happening. And you're like, well, what happened to such and such? And I'm like, oh, sorry. So yeah. Appreciate that, Ryder. I'm not going to say it. Says, hello, sorry, I caught the beginning of it when I ate dinner and had to leave for a while. Bar is looking great. Appreciate it. There were no tears last time. It was just, I don't know, honestly never really expected people to donate, but now that I know there are, I, uh, trying to be a little bit more prepared and able to give you, reward you guys appropriately for it. Really the only thing last time is if people donated a significant amount, they got a, uh, Sig thing in the mock. It says thanks for the shout out, Jay. Now twenty three away. All right, man. Good luck. Take care. Dude, I would love to do a Star Wars celebration, especially since next year it's gonna be five days long. And I'm, we're going to get so much news, too. Like, especially since there wasn't one this year. And of course, episode 9 is coming out. We'll probably get a trailer. Probably get some episodes for the new Clone Wars show. Probably get some stuff from the live-action Star Wars series. So many things. So many things. It says, by the way, I still have that wet floor sign. I want to donate to you for your mock. Oh, yeah. We need to work that out, I guess. Even if you aren't going to celebration this year, how many of you guys have actually been to a Star Wars celebration? Kid the Tig says he had to go across the country for the last one. All right, see you, man. Thanks for. Thanks for coming through. Can I do a giveaway? Um, I was kind of thinking. Should sell a chunk of Vardos for each time. I don't know if people are gonna be that willing to buy chunks of Vardos. Also, I'm gonna need these bricks for future projects. One of the cooler things I saw at Brick Fair Virginia, what a lot of people did is they would have someone like basically autograph a brick. Like, you know, have your friends autograph a brick so you guys can. How much would it cost for me to actually like. Have legit rich boys on these, babe. Says I would buy the mock for the two circles. The two circles are pretty legit.
glad you guys are digging the circles. BB Bricks build Taco Donna. So it would probably cost a lot, but it's worth it. Will, with their strength, you could monopolize the industry. Yeah. You just got to work out those side effects, though. A lot of people aren't really feeling the memory loss. Imperial mock ideas. Um, do a Death Star hanger. Do I like Lil Pump or Lil Tent Viva? It's all about Lil Tent Viva, bro. Nothing beats Lil Tent Viva. Will you ever have any merch to support the Boyo Squad? Yes. One day, yes. <laughs> Yo, Jay, you need merch, please. In due time. Patience. You must learn patience. What part of Corellia would you do? Wow. The Bricklink Center I ordered, so that I ordered these parts from sent me an imposter. That's a shame. See, this is why you trust no one. I swear it'd be your own people. And the opinions on LeBronzo. LeBron made a huge mistake by going to LA instead of the Rockets. And he will learn this uh, season. He will pay the price for his lack of vision. Should you do a hanger bit? Yeah, do a Death Star hanger. What's up, Clone Bricks 94 Says, are there any other hobbies you have aside from Lego? Right now, not really. <laughs> Lego is overwhelmed large part of my life, especially now that I do YouTube. But, um, I don't know. I, I like animation. I used to do that a lot more often. I used to do it a lot. Like flash animation, flash games, stuff like that.
huge football fan, huge wrestling fan. Alright, see ya, BB Bricks. Thanks for coming by, man. Good luck on your mock. Jeff Hardy all the way. Jeff Hardy used to be my favorite wrestler. Cowboys are garbage. Cowboys are garbage. I love to see the Cowboys lose. Sometimes I'd rather see the Cowboys lose than my own team win. So even though the Texans lost yesterday, the Cowboys lost and it was a good day. When will I know what I've learned? <laughs> the Boyo Code. Like I said, it's it's a spiritual journey. You'll know it. Been working on a mini fix scale ghost. Any advice? It's hard to say without seeing like pictures or anything of it. Is it on your channel? I'm a baseball fan though so I really don't care I am not a baseball fan I just can't do it like I barely understand it as it is and it's just it's not very exciting to me I might have died, but she will always be a true boyo for life. Well, if you want me to check out your ghost, send me a link on Instagram to your. So, do you have a Facebook page of it? Or show me. Send me a link to somewhere I can see it, and I'll give you some advice. I mean, exactly, Bricks Builds. Lego and Star Wars is for everyone. Um, to be honest, I don't really listen to Mac Miller. It was sad to see that he passed away, but I'm not going to pretend like I was a huge fan of his music.
Any ideas of what cat clones I should buy? I'm buying at least three. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know too much about what they sell, to be quite honest. It's hard for me to give advice on that. Two plates. No, I, everyone keeps asking about that new Spider-Man game. I would love to play it. I, I have not played it yet, though. Okay. All right, see if Parker die. Yeah, I would definitely recommend Cody, especially since there's no Lego version of him in Phase 2. That would be the one I would recommend. And a plate. Alright, I think I've reached a stopping point, guys. I've messed around with this thing long enough. And then put this back where it belongs. It'll go like there. Wow, got quite a bit of work done, honestly. Finished up the circle. The two circles. Started filling in even more of the landing platform. So here I'll show you guys what we got. Obviously, the circle is finally done. Continue the like pattern going alongside the edge of the uh, platform, and I'm happy with the progress. So that's going to finish up the stream tonight, guys. I appreciate all of you for staying up with me pretty late into the night. It's always a pleasure to sit around and talk to you guys about Star Wars. Um, not sure when the next stream will be, but I'm definitely going to do another one sometime this week. I've try to keep it pretty steady with doing these twice a week so we'll try to keep going with that so once again i appreciate all of you for stopping by and hanging out it was an awesome time and i'll see you guys again very soon like i always say if you like what i do go ahead support the video by smashing that like button go ahead and do that before you head out if you haven't already and um support the channel by hitting the subscribe button uh it says when will there be another stream when someone donates i had a few people donate today so there's a bit of a streak going on, which is nice. And uh, yeah, good night, everyone. I'll, I'll